Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to my video today. And as you can probably tell by the title, um, it's, well, it's a sort of revision, I guess, to, um, to my top five games of 2014. Now, um, on that list, I obviously, or Dragon Age Inquisition 1. And like I said at the time, you know, it quite white quite white quite rightly won and it's a very good game the visuals are very impressive it ran you know pretty well when I got it um, yeah story's quite good there's some stuff in there which is you know not brilliant and the cameos or some of the cameos or lack of cameos annoyed me in the game uh, though I'm not gonna Go into any of that, and we'll go into any story stuff. But yeah, and you know the ending as well. But I don't know what it is with Bioware. I've said it since I first started playing Bioware games, and it's like they, make, they can make really, really good games, and then it comes to the ending and they flop. It's just like we don't know what we're doing now. <laughs> It's like they spent all of the creative energies on the bulk of the game, and then when it gets to the ending, which is the part that people really do take away with them, it sort of just just goes, which is a huge shame. Now, I put Child of Light on the list, as you probably know, and since then I have actually completed it. Uh, really enjoyed it, but never sort of like got the time to go back and play it. Which yeah, okay, my indicate is probably you know. I might not have found it the best game, but as soon as I got back into it again, I absolutely loved it, and I just smashed it in two days, and did all the recording for the playthrough that I'm doing, so obviously that's going to be coming up in the upcoming series, uh, which will be at the start of next month, or from next month. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty looking forward to having that up there, and it should be interesting to see what you guys think about it. But having completed it uh, a couple of weeks ago and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it, I mean, I don't know. It's you can't compare that with Final Fantasy Thirteen in my eyes. I mean, it beats it hands down, uh, and it's not graphically as brilliant. It's not, you know, action packed or anything like that. But the way it plays and the music, the way it sets the atmosphere, the use of poetry. You know, to tell the lore of the of the game and you know, and some of the backstory to it, I think it's just absolutely incredible. I can't really talk highly enough of Child of Light at all. Um, absolutely love it. And if I hadn't already, if I was making the list now at this moment today, or a couple of weeks ago since I completed Child of Light, I would probably stick Child of Light first. I mean, that is how good it's been. They are the sort of games that I really want to play, that I really want to see more of. And it's weird because it's come from Ubisoft and the other week I absolutely took them to town a bit on the whole, you know, Assassin's Creed Rogue thing and that took them to town a bit on, of course, the disappointing games of 2014 with Assassin's Creed Unity coming first, obviously. But, you know, they do, or some of their studios do deserve some, some praise and, and credit because... Like I say, they have done a really stellar job with Child of Light. I think, you know, it's, it is brilliant, honestly. If you haven't played it, download it, play it. I'd recommend sticking with it, of course. You know, you've got to give it a fair shot. But, honestly, as soon as you get into it, it's uh, such an amazing game, an amazing experience. And, unfortunately, you know, despite the fact I tried to turn the music down, I've got so many copyright, well, not like copyright, but like, well, I suppose, yeah. Copyright claims on the videos, so I can't get the advertisement money from it. Not that I'm really that bothered. I mean, it doesn't make any difference to me. It's They're going to get, what, 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 views. And from you guys, which is great. You know, if you guys enjoy the series, then that's brilliant. But in terms of whether that makes any money or not, it's not going to anyway. But I thoroughly enjoyed playing it, and I also enjoyed recording it as well. It was like, honestly really good. Uh, the only, there's one one thing I haven't done in it, and that's get the one of the optional characters, which is a big stone golem, which I will probably do a video of uh, at some point, just about that side quest, I guess, and uh, getting him and seeing what he's like to fight with. 
And also coming up when I have done the campaign, I'm 20 hours into an Attila, Total War Attila campaign at the minute. Thoroughly enjoying it. I think it is really good. Um, it's come out a lot better than Rome 2. I did actually pre order Total War Attila. I got it for a pretty decent price. Um, once again, if you want Steam keys, there's a link in the description to CSJ. Not CJS, I always get it wrong. Anyway, um, you know, they do decent prices on games. You generally get 20 30% off uh, what's in the Steam, uh, what Steam is selling it for. Sometimes more if you're lucky. And um, yeah, I think Attila's on there for 23 quid, I believe. But I don't actually remember, so I'd actually go and check that out if you're interested. But yeah, definitely worth playing, Attila. And I will do a review on it, but I don't want to do a review until I finish the campaign. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's made me want to go back and play it again and again. And I sort of got that with Rome, but the fact the launch and everything really did kill it for me. Um, you know, I did struggle along through, and even because even though it had been patched, and even though the Emperor Edition makes it a lot better, it there was still that there's a bit of a block there because of how bad it had been previously. But um, with Attila, they I wouldn't. I'm not going to say they've redeemed themselves because I don't want to let them off that easy. But once again, I'll talk about all this in the review of Attila. But um, yeah, they did a decent job and they deserve a bit of praise for that, nevertheless. Anyway, guys, thank you much for watching and joining me today. If you like the video, then give me a like, and if you don't, then just like it because that always helps with. I don't know, stuff. Anyway. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.